Hello and welcome to this video for the EDUCAS English Language Paper 1, Section A, Question 1. Question 1 will ask for a list. What is a list? List means a record of short pieces of information. In this question then, they're simply looking for five bullet points. How does the question look like on the exam paper? Well, it will say read lines and give you a short number of lines to read and then ask list five things you learn about and then a particular topic or situation or character. Here's an example then of how the question would look in full. Read lines 1 to 17, list five things you learn about Jonathan in lines 1 to 17. The key information the exam would give you are now in red. First off then, the examiner makes clear which parts of the text you should look at and repeats the information in the question itself. Any information you use outside of those lines does not count. The word list is used, followed by how many items are needed. Five. This tells you that your response should not be a paragraph. It should be a set of bullet points, or a list. As a general rule, you want to write your answers in short sentences that link to the question and make sure you don't repeat the same response twice. Key advice then, use short sentence answers. Here's a mini example then. List five things you learn about the police force. Important, your police force needs young, enthusiastic, intelligent new workers. Sign up today and receive a guaranteed 20,000 pounds starting salary. I learn the police force need young workers. I know the police force need enthusiastic workers. I know the police force need intelligent workers would give me three out of five marks. Sign up today though might suggest that they need workers urgently. So I can infer from this answer that they're quite desperate for new policemen. Obviously my fifth answer might well be what the starting salary is, 20,000 pounds. The criteria then on your, which you're judged on for this question. This question tests the ability to identify explicit and implicit information ideas. Explicit means the example will give you some of the answers, but some guesses based on the evidence are also likely to get you marks as well. Award one mark for each point and or inference identified by the candidate to a maximum of five. The exam board will then give uh, the examiner a list of 15 possible answers. No marks should be awarded for unabridged quotation of whole sentences. In other words, if your answer is too long or you've quoted too much of the text, they won't give you the mark. They're looking for short, concise responses. Let's look at three examples then. Our examples today are taken from this exam paper, and this is the section that question one is based on. At the top, it gives you in italics. In this story, Jonathan and Francis are a young married couple who endorse it for a week's holiday in a rented cottage. They have two young children called Lorna and Matthew. Why does everything take so long, moaned Jonathan. It only took me five minutes to get ready. Francis didn't bother to answer. She was sagging with the effort and boredom of assembling everything needed for the morning out in the car. Juice, speaker with screw on lid, towels, change of clothes in case of car sickness, nappies, rattle. There was more. What was it? Oh, come on, Jonathan, think, she said. I'm fed up with having to plan it all. What do you think I've been doing for the last hour? He shouted. Who was, that, who was it that changed na Matthew's nappy just now, eh? Congratulations, she said. Don't shout or I'll cry. Was it any, well, why is everything such a mess, said Jonathan, picking up plastic spiders, dinosaurs, beads and bears, and scowling grimly over the pile of primary colours. I want that spider, Daddy, screamed Lorna. Give it to me. During the ensuing struggle, Frances thought about her tiredness. The year following the arrival of her first baby had gone in pure astonishment and loss of freedom, but second time round it's spinning away in exhaustion. Matthew woke up at 1am, 4am, and Lorna at 6.30. During the days, fatigue wore her down. We're ready at last, said Jonathan, breathing heavily. We're ready to go. Remember, the question is asking, what do we find out about Jonathan from lines 1 to 17? Anything in italics at the top there does not count. It has to be things we find out from line 1 to 17. Here are, here are some responses. K 
candidate one wrote five bullet points, but only three of them got marks. His wife is called Frances. Well, the extract does not tell you that they are married. The information is part in italics above, so that would be a wrong answer because that information is not included in the lines given. He argues with his wife a lot, also does not get a mark. If this candidate had said his, he argues with his wife, that would get a mark, but there is no evidence that they argue a lot based on the extract that we were given. So three marks out of five. Candidate two, again, a bit more written here. Um, th five bullet points used, but only three of them gets a mark. The answers here are far too long and don't need quotes. So this candidate is using up time for question one, which they shouldn't have done. We also do not find out they're going on holiday in lines 1 to 17. Again, that information's in the italics. There is also no character called Laura in the extract. There is a Lorna, but not a Laura. And the last bullet point there, Jonathan doesn't like kids' toys. Well, we know he doesn't like the mess they create, but it doesn't indicate that he just doesn't like the toys themselves. This may seem petty, but the exam board really are looking for absolutely pitch perfect or really close to perfect answers for this question. Um, it's simply picking out information from a number of lines given. Candidate three, you can see four out of five for this one. Four bullet points accurate, the last one is not. Um, he had children with Francis. Well, this point has already been made. He's, this candidate's already said he's a father of two, which is kind of the same as saying he's got children with Francis. So four out of five for this response. Examiner feedback then for responses from the last, last actual exam. Stronger responses look closely at the question set and ensure that facts and inferences link to the exact question asked. Responses should directly link or easily be inferred to link to the task set. And weaker candidates jump to conclusions based on a whole passage or used information from outside the prescribed lines given. My feedback then to improve on this question. You've only got five minutes to answer this question at absolute most. So you've got to study the question carefully and make sure that facts you use link to the question set. Better responses tend to be written in full sentences that use the wording of the question to make sure they're accurate. To get all five answers right, you can't repeat the same points or points that are too similar to each other. Here then, based on that advice, is a five mark answer. Question one, he changed a nappy, he didn't help plan, he is demanding, he thinks he does his bit, and he moans about everything taking too long. Short, concise answers. I haven't even used the word Jonathan because obviously the word he makes clear that I'm talking about the right character. Using this advice, here then are two practice questions for you to work on at home. Practice question one. Practice question two. This was then a guide to the EDUCAS English Language Paper 1, Section A, Question 1. Good luck in the exam. Thank you for listening.